What's up guys, quick tutorial on adding textures and materials in Maya. Once again, I am using Maya 2019, uh, but this still works in 2018 and other recent versions. Um, so what a texture is, I'm just adding a texture file, which is just a flat image on top of any object in Maya. This isn't actually like physical texture. Um, so if you look at my example right now, I have a cube that has a brick texture on it with another image, and then a floor that has this kind of stone texture. Um, first things first, you do need an image or like a JPEG image that has that file um, or that has that texture on it. <clears throat> you can take them yourselves as photos or you can get them for free online from a place uh, like different stock image websites. The one that I use with my students is just called textures.com. Now it used to be called CG Textures. Um, <clears throat> it is free uh, for lower quality images, but for our purposes, we're not doing too high quality stuff. So you, got, you do you got to make your own account. It's free. Um, I have my students just use their school email. They send an email. You click the link. You have an account. From there, you have like uh, X amount of downloads per day uh, for free. So uh, if I scroll down, I can look at all these different kinds. If I'm trying to like sculpt buildings, I have like the sides of buildings. I have different concretes, different kinds of woods and metals. <clears throat> um, so find one that you like. So I'm going to go ahead and let's say that I am making a wall. So maybe I'll grab a uh, plaster wall. Um, <clears throat> So I can, there's like tons of different kinds. They have so, so, so many cool uh, images. Let's just do a plain white wall with like a little subtle texture to it. Um, one thing to note on this website is this idea of seamless. If I hover over this one right now, you see seamless here, but you do not see it on this guy. What seamless means is that when you tile the texture, you kind of like put it next to each other, you don't see the edge. So those are typically better to use um, if you're creating a big surface. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy. Um, <clears throat> looks like I can download a large or just, just a small one, which is fine for our purposes. Now, it's going to go right here into my downloads. Um, it's important to put these texture files in a very specific location. Otherwise, Maya will get confused later on in our process. That location, so right now it's in my downloads, is this guy right here. But that location, if I open up my finder down here, um, it's in documents right here. I'm going to go ahead, so I switch my view mode to the three columns on a Mac as opposed to the thumbnail view. That way I can see the whole uh, chain. The folder is in Documents, Maya, Projects, Default, Source Images. That feels like a long way around, uh, but this is just like the Maya folder that they need to be in. So again, Documents, Maya, Projects, Default, Source Images. And then here is where you're going to put all of those texture files. Right? I have a few in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do my downloads. Just drag and drop that guy in there, and boom. Now, if I go back to Maya, I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to make the cube a little bit bigger so I can see him. So real quick, if I right, if I click and hold right click, I have assign new material, assign favorite material, or assign existing material. And you can see the ones that I've already used in the scene. If I assign a new material, I get this window really quickly. Uh, Blin and Lambert are the ones that I use the most, just for the basics, because uh, Lambert is a flat color, a Blin is a shiny color. If I click Lambert, now it's a, a flat gray. This is also where we're able to like customize colors here. If I wanted it to be blue, it could be blue. But this little checkerboard guy next to color, if I click on that, I have a whole other set of options. The only one we're looking at right here is file. And that lets me to pick a file to use. Um, it's important before I pick the file that this guy right here, texture to select that six on the keyboard. <clears throat> I click on this folder here. Find my file. Here's my white wall. And boom, now my cube has that texture on it. And that's like really it. Here, clock it in four minutes. That's the bare basics of it. Um, in another video, maybe posted today as well, maybe later, I'll talk about UV mapping, which is like rearranging how the texture looks on the object. <clears throat> so I would recommend renaming your Lambert rather than like mine is currently named Lambert 7. Let's name this like white plaster or just white wall. Um, so I know, because now if I make another object, Let's do a circle, a sphere. If I, once again, click and hold right click, assign existing material, now I have white wall along with like floor, um, which is that rock floor that I was using earlier in class. So there it is. Uh, free, uh, just textures.com, get a free account, download stuff, save it to that specific uh, file extension, that specific folder on your computer uh, that's on a Mac, or else. Maya will have problems later on. Thank you for watching.